Hi, my name is Wayne Savage, director of the Arrowhead Research Park on the campus of New Mexico State University in Las Cruces, New Mexico. I'd like to welcome each of you to our live virtual event today, and thank you for investing a portion of your day with us to learn more about the exciting things happening at the park in the coming months. Our hope is that what you hear and learn today will lead to future conversations about the needs of your business, your client, or your next investment. Over the coming hour, we're going to provide a basic introduction to Arrowhead Park, New Mexico State University, and our Las Cruces community. We'll discuss the significance of the relationship between NMSU, Arrowhead Center, and the park, talk about our master plan update and new projects slated for this year, and present what we hope will be your opportunity to grow with us. At Arrowhead, we provide critical resources for entrepreneurs and startups to locate and grow their businesses through experienced mentors and proven accelerator programs, cost-effective opportunity zone building sites for investors, developers, and companies looking to expand or relocate their facilities, and the academic and research resources of NMSU to address the technical and societal challenges facing our world and your company. Exciting things are happening at Arrowhead Park in the days and months ahead as we enter into a new phase of growth and economic impact for our community and our region. Thank you for joining us for this update today. We're going to start off with a short introductory video that will provide you some basic information about the park and our campus and our community. After that, you'll get to meet and hear from the chancellor of our NMSU system Dr. Dan Arvizu, who will share his thoughts on NMSU and its mission and how Arrowhead Center and Arrowhead Park fit into the vision for serving this region. So enjoy the video and I'll be back in a few minutes. Arrowhead Park is a 175 acre real estate development on the New Mexico State University campus in Las Cruces, New Mexico. Adjacent to Interstates I-10 and I-25, the park is strategically located to benefit development of your business and provide easy access to regional and international markets. Driven by a 20-year master development plan and our mission to be the premier regional community for innovation, science, and technology, Arrowhead Park provides existing space and build-to-suit capability for technical and research facilities, data centers, office campuses, and more in an attractive mixed-use urban environment. Our new Arrowhead Park Tech Center will open in 2021 and will provide smaller office suites and lab availability. Grow with us in a variety of industry sectors, including life sciences, aerospace, agribusiness, software and IT, and digital and creative media. Our tenant partners receive access to Arrowhead Center's business acceleration programs, a strong talent pipeline, as well as opportunities to engage directly with New Mexico State University in both research and academic environments. They also qualify for Opportunity Zone and New Market Tax Credit financing and the benefits of being located in the Doña Ana County Free Trade Zone. NMSU is a land-grant and space-grant university and the leading Hispanic-serving Tier 1 research institution in the state. With a student population of over 14,300, plus more than 700 faculty, NMSU has the resources to be an important technology and workforce partner for your business. Academic and research strengths include biosciences and emerging healthcare, data analytics, sustainable agriculture and cybersecurity, water and energy, digital media, aerospace and entrepreneurship. The university is deeply engaged in efforts to commercialize new technologies being developed in our labs for the benefit of the populations we serve. Las Cruces and the surrounding communities in Doña Ana County are the ideal places to live, work, and enjoy activities with family and friends. Our rich and culturally diverse heritage, along with the city's comprehensive development plans, link this progressive city to its history, while remaining focused on future growth and prosperity. A revitalized downtown, strong healthcare delivery systems, and a wide range of entertainment venues make Las Cruces an active and growing community. Throughout the region, cultural, historical, and recreational assets including the village of Old Mesilla, the Camino Real, numerous national parks and monuments, and Spaceport America, provide endless opportunities to explore the wonders of New Mexico. Come join us at Arrowhead Park at New Mexico State University. 
the hub of entrepreneurship and innovation for the southern New Mexico borderplex region. We have building sites available in 1 to 20 acre sizes to meet your specific needs. Contact us directly at Arrowhead Park at 575-646-6120 or find us on the web at arrowheadcenter.nmsu.edu slash arrowhead-park. Well, good morning. What a delight it is to be here for this exciting event uh, that I know uh, is uh, of interest to, to many of you. Certainly uh, an, an item of great interest to me personally. I've been following what uh, Arrowhead Center and, and the Arrowhead Park have been about, uh, certainly in the last couple of years, but even before that, as an alumni of the New Mexico State University for uh, you know uh, the last uh, few decades, I've been watching what things have been going on and Arrowhead has continually come to the forefront. Of, of recognition and visibility. I think more than ever, uh, Arrowhead Park and, and, and the work that we're doing at Arrowhead is, is going to be even more valuable and important because of the nature of the world that we live in. I don't have to remind everybody about all of the challenges that we're currently facing. Six months ago, I don't think any of us really understood what, could, what, what, what the future would look like and, and the, the idea that, that we would have a pandemic and uh, certainly it's, uh, something that uh, brings uh, along with it many, many challenges. At the same time, I'm, I'm pleased that over the past two years, we've been focused on a strategy. Um, our strategic plan is called LEADS 2025. And uh, really what, it's, what it, uh, it, it, it outlines is the North Star of where we're headed. This is the direction we're headed. This is why we're headed there. Being very true to our land grant mission objectives that relate to um, instruction and research and outreach are, are really, really important, I think, for land-grant institution and for us, those of us at New Mexico State University and our system and the state of New Mexico, this is extremely important because I think it is a, a mechanism by which we will ultimately get to an outcome uh, that is long-term uh, sustainable and will provide uh, the kind of value that we think we need for our citizens and our communities. Now, all that to say, that uh, one of the one of the key elements of the strategy and uh, the the recent pandemic has done nothing uh, to affect the strategy other than to require that we accelerate progress. And that's a really important part of, I think, what the future holds for us. And it's now pretty much front and center that we recognize a couple of key elements. One of those is uh, it is unlikely that the support from the states, uh, not just unique to New Mexico, but across the country, will not be able to support higher education at the same levels that they have in the past. So it's incumbent on universities and university systems to bring in additional revenues and to be in a growth mode and to provide the kind of, of uh, positive um, revenue generation so that you can be in a mode to invest in the important mission objectives of our land grant charter. So in that context, Arrowhead plays an extremely important part. And so where we are right now, I think is, is in a position where we're looking to the future and the idea of how do we do things differently in the future to put ourselves in a better position for long-term sustainability is a, is a key element of our strategy. And one of those, of course, is, is a better public-private partnership and partnership with the, with the private sector. The state resources will be more and more challenged going forward. Uh, but there's one thing that I think is, is, uh, is pretty clear, and that is that the federal resources will uh, be focused and be redirected uh, in a bipartisan manner, it is my opinion, to actually do some things that are in the long-term interest of our country and of our nation and, um, and uh, for making us either more competitive or more secure uh, in terms of our, our regulated sectors, our critical infrastructures, and the supply chains that go along with them. So in that context, uh, Arrowhead is, is, uh, is focused on entrepreneurial programs. It's focused on, on venture money and, and trying to attract um, resources try to attract partners, and we'll be doing some things on the Arrowhead Park, which are very, very exciting. We have some ideas around the clusters that that would represent. Um, it's an economic development zone, and as, as a consequence of that, there is a tremendous amount of opportunity that relates to financial incentives for investors to come and put, uh, put stakes down in the ground here in, in New Mexico, and specifically on Arrowhead uh, land property and, and other parts of but both our, our university and uh, the state and our, and, our, uh, and our community as well. So it, I think it's a very strategic moment for, um, for New Mexico and for New Mexico State University to be part of this, of, of this new future where we are 
a catalyst for change, a catalyst for moving uh, t- together and, and working in a, in a way where we can help to both create economic development opportunities as well as diversify those economic development opportunities that are here and resident here. And, and then ultimately to, uh, to, to serve the needs of the residents of the communities in which we reside, which is part of our land grant charter. And therein lies the opportunity, I think, to, uh, to really make an impact. With, with social mobility and meeting the needs of the underserved and those who are without voice and those who have not, who've been in many, many ways are challenged uh, both with access to education and other opportunities. And we think that putting together these kind of programs that Arrowhead can lead and be a catalyst will, will create that environment that helps uh, create wealth and opportunity for all of the citizens in New Mexico. So with that, I'll stop and just say uh, thank you for being here. Thank you for listening. Uh, we're looking for your ideas. We're looking for partners. We're looking for those who can provide us uh, with, with greater impact. I think the future is bright for New Mexico State University and for, for Arrowhead Park. And, uh, and I trust for the citizens of New Mexico and, and all of the, um, of the opportunities that will be presented as a consequence of putting some of these economic development programs and putting Arrowhead right front and center as, a, as, one of, as one of the major foundational elements of our future strategy. So with that, I wish you a, a good meeting and uh, look forward to hearing more from all of you and some of the great successes that I, I'm sure will be a part of in the future. Thank you. Thanks for joining us today to share your thoughts, Chancellor. Before we go into the details of our master plan update, I want to share a little more of Arrowhead Center's role as an economic engine for this region. Formed by NMSU in 2007, Arrowhead Center provides mission critical innovation and entrepreneurship resources for the university, our students, our faculty, and our constituents, the residents and businesses of our state and region. As a land grant university, NMSU's efforts serve the entire state of New Mexico and Arrowhead Center's programs and efforts reflect that statewide reach. Arrowhead's offerings are wide ranging and form a kind of economic infrastructure for New Mexico. We start with our entrepreneurial pipeline, educating K-12 students statewide in entrepreneurship and innovation, and coaching hundreds of university students each year in forming and building their own businesses. We provide assistance to entrepreneurs, faculty, and businesses through a range of accelerator, mentoring, and technical resource programs, including assistance with access to capital through our own Arrowhead Innovation Fund and connections with other investors. For entrepreneurs needing to take their startup to market, Arrowhead Park is there to provide affordable office and lab space and to partner with private sector companies, investors, and developers in support of job creation and meaningful economic impact for our community. Let's take a couple of minutes to hear about how Arrowhead Center's programs have provided critical support for one of our startup partner companies, Minerva Robotics. I'm J.R. Rosillo. I'm CEO of and co-founder of Minerva Robotics. We are making handmade tortillas available for everyone. There is a new world rush for tortillas. So that the top chefs in the country are having dedicated teams of people making this kind uh, of tortilla. So using computer vision and AI, we are replicating the process and teaching our computer to cook uh, like a human. We've been working with Arrowhead Center for the past few months. For us, this has been truly an excellent experience. Everything from office space to network to advisors, uh, even securing funding for our company has been provided. We landed at Arrowhead because of Carlos Murguia. We met him last year on an exploratory trip. Everything that's necessary to start a business, to grow it, and just to have like the right partners has been provided. We're very happy to be working all, alongside Arrowhead and we will continue expanding our footprint in the park. One of the best perks is uh, closeness to uh, NMSU and having direct access to a bunch of engineers, PhDs, and people in the region that are just rooting for us and helping us uh, succeed. You, You will keep hearing from us, and we're very happy to be part of the Arrowhead Center family.
We're looking forward to great things from JR and Minerva Robotics as they take their smart robotic tortilla manufacturing system to restaurants near you in the months ahead. Through Arrowhead's mentoring and technical assistance programs, engagement with NMSU faculty on product development, and connections to capital through our Arrowhead Innovation Fund, Minerva is on its way as a successful startup. If you are an entrepreneur seeking this kind of holistic support to build your business, reach out to us and we'll start the process with you. New Mexico State University focuses all of its academic, research, and economic efforts through a strategic lens that includes regional and cross-border core initiatives in transforming education, regional healthcare, commercial access to space, energy and water, and creative media. These initiatives and corresponding industry sectors are well aligned with Arrowhead Park's current tenant partners, who we're proud to say include companies like General Dynamics, Spaceport America, Vista Photonics, Alliance DNA, Jacobs Technology, and more. We work alongside our current tenants on a daily basis to provide the resources of NMSU an Arrowhead Center and assist them in achieving their goals. Jeff Harris, Vice President for the Braille College of Osteopathic Medicine, is here to share about their experience in locating at Arrowhead Park and partnering with NMSU as they set out to establish an entirely new medical school in a very short time frame. Burrell College of Osteopathic Medicine um, started as a white paper that was given to the New Mexico State University president at the time in 2013. And so when we were looking for locations to actually build our uh, campus, uh, the research park was a natural fit. When we decided to uh, actually move forward on the project, we had a very aggressive time frame for opening. We uh, were looking at an 80,000 square foot building. And we had about an 18 month design build cycle. So the fact that it was straightforward to work with NMSU on design approvals, uh, work directly with the state construction industries on permitting, uh, that allowed us to meet our aggressive time frame. In fact, Burrell went from a concept to opening for students in three years and one month, which is almost unheard of. In that period of time, we were able to flesh out a plan, build a building, recruit a faculty, generate financing, and uh, recruit a student body and open um, in August of 2016. Because of our location uh, and proximity to NMSU, we're able to partner with them on a number of things, research. Um, our students enjoy uh, student, the same status as an NMSU student. We had a very good experience uh, with, with uh, the research park in particular. Uh, we were housed there while our building was being built. Um, that provided us an opportunity to start to bring faculty and staff on in a in sort of a campus environment before we actually had a campus. Uh, so we, we think that this experience has been very good for Burrell. And I think that uh, other entities and industries uh, would probably be very well served by uh, by moving into the park. We, in fact, are looking at expanding already. Our program is growing to the point where we're looking at some additional space, and we're looking in the park to, uh, to expand. We also strongly believe that a trained, educated workforce is key to the success of our startup and corporate partners. And having the Burrell College of Osteopathic Medicine in the Arrowhead Park Early College High School and Medical Academy as anchor residents in the park, in addition to the talent pipeline of NMSU and our sister Doniana Community College, represents a key component to our offering and to the success of your next opportunity. As I said earlier, this is an exciting time at Arrowhead Park as we have four projects lined up for the coming year that will really change the landscape of the park and set the stage for further growth. Let me tell you a little bit about each of these and then share how they align with our strategic vision and our updated park plan. The first project to break ground will be our new three megawatt 
solar and battery storage facility that will provide renewable energy to both the NMSU campus and the park. This system also creates a collaborative research facility to provide NMSU and El Paso Electric opportunities to pursue development of new technologies for the clean energy grids of the future. Coming online in April of next year, the system will serve as an anchor for the long-term development of Arrowhead Park as a leader in sustainability and energy technology. The second new project is a long-awaited spec office building that will be the new home of Arrowhead Center along with other tenants. This 32,000 square foot Class A office building developed and built by the Goldenrod Companies of Omaha, Nebraska, will function as the innovation center for the park with spaces for new and existing tenants to join in collaborative efforts with entrepreneurs and NMSU students and faculty. Groundbreaking for the building is slated for this coming January with occupancy a year later in January of 2022. We're also proud to announce that Arrowhead Park has been awarded a public works grant from the U.S. Economic Development Administration to build additional roadway and utility infrastructure. These additional facilities will provide long-term capacity for growth and help us open up further development sites in preparation for the growth plan over the next few years. We're always excited to work with the EDA as our partners in this important work of innovation and economic development and appreciate their commitment to the betterment of our community and our campus. The final project to announce today is the initial building and development of our planned creative campus. A new building for Doniana Community College's Creative Media Technology Program. While I will share more about the creative campus later in this hour, the educational facility will provide additional state-of-the-art classroom and lab spaces for DACC's growing media and film programs. Four new projects, $24 million in new investment in construction, added office space availability for new and growing tenant partners, and infrastructure capacity for the future. It's going to be a great year, and we hope you'll consider joining us. While these projects are exciting in and of themselves, they are key building blocks of the park's master plan for near-term development and for the five to 10 year timeframe as well. They also represent aspects of the value proposition that Arrowhead Park provides to your company or your client. Strategically located, affordable, shovel-ready land sites, efficient operations through low-cost labor and utilities, reliable, renewable energy supply, a trained workforce pipeline, collaboration opportunities with NMSU on research and new technology development, and a physical location that is free of natural disasters to ensure minimal interruption to your business. New Mexico is rich, not only culturally, but also in strategic resources for your business. Building around assets such as Spaceport America, White Sands Missile Range, national technology partners like Sandia and Los Alamos Labs, and our proximity to key supply chain partners on both sides of the border with Mexico. The park plan targets growth of industry sectors that are critical to the economy of the future, such as health, creative digital media, energy and water, agribiz and commercial space. The growth of new technologies in these sectors also has significant impact to the future of education. And the park is well positioned to meet this challenge as we build upon the educational assets of all of our partners from NMSU and DACC to the Braille College, to Arrowhead Park's Early College High School and Medical Academy. Combined with Arrowhead Center's rich resources and in innovation and entrepreneurship, Arrowhead Park is a fertile ground for growth of your business. New Mexico has also made great strides in being a business-friendly state with incentives targeted to address the needs of tenant partners in our strategic growth clusters. Leading the way in this area has been the state's economic development department. And Mark Roper has some words to share about how you can benefit from their initiatives in attracting new partners to the state. I'm Mark Roper. I'm the Division Director for Economic Development for the State of New Mexico Economic Development Department. And on behalf of Secretary Alicia Keys and Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham, 
I want to tell you a little bit about New Mexico and how you can choose New Mexico to be your next location. New Mexico is extremely business friendly. We have offered single sales factor to all of those in either the manufacturing sector or those who have chosen to headquarter in New Mexico. Single sales factor will make corporate income tax virtually zero in the state of New Mexico. We also have no tax on consumables as they are used in the manufacturing process and that extends to consumables including utilities. We have a very extensive R&D tax credit. They can earn you up to 10% of all expenses related to R&D, including those expenses related to payroll. That's very, very important for those looking for great industry sector spots in places like the Arrowhead Center in Las Cruces. One of our leading incentives has been in existence since the early 1970s. It is the Job Training Incentive Program where we will reimburse a company 50 to 85% of an employee's pay during a defined training period up to six months. We also offer a high wage job tax credit to employers for, who pay employees over 40,000 in rural areas or over $60,000 annually in urban areas. In the manufacturing sector, we offer the manufacturer's investment tax credit which equals 5.125% of all equipment purchases made on behalf of the manufacturing business. And finally, we have our Local Economic Development Act Fund. The Local Economic Development Act Fund is called the closing fund, but what it really does is it help offset costs that a company makes associated with their investments in land, building, and infrastructure for their facilities in New Mexico. The Local Economic Development Act Fund is a direct cash reimbursement to the company. These incentives, as well as a very willing workforce and capable workforce, make New Mexico a great location for your investment. Targeted industry tax incentives and credits, multiple job training reimbursement programs, capital efficient long-term land leases, minimal zoning requirements, and quick turnaround on permits and inspections. As you assess growth requirements for the future of your business, amidst the many constantly changing variables nationally and globally, there are many reasons to take a long look at growing here in Southern New Mexico with Arrowhead Park. The park's master plan is designed around Arrowhead Center's mission to serve regional and campus needs for advancing entrepreneurship technology commercialization, innovation in business and education, and job creation. As you can see in this bubble diagram, these various activities are all integral to each other and the overall plan for the park. Our location at the intersection of Interstate Highways 10 and 25 marks a significant presence for the region and for the city of Las Cruces and the park is focused on being the premier regional center for innovation and technology. Consistent with our strategic alignment to the strengths of NMSU and the region, the plan envisions a network of many campus environments supporting healthcare and life sciences, creative digital media, commercial space, and water and energy. These campuses will be connected by a series of green spaces and pathways that will encourage employees and students to explore the outdoor spaces and trails available to them. Adopting the concepts of contemporary live, learn, work, play design, we also envision an infusion of loft and multifamily residential areas, retail and public spaces to provide a relaxed environment for all of our residents. The Creative Digital Media Campus will house both academic and industry facilities with a film and digital media production studio, creative media buildings for both NMSU and Doniana Community College, and mixed use spaces to support the exciting supply chain and entrepreneurial startup activity. The Health Campus is anchored by the Burrell College of Osteopathic Medicine a fully accredited medical school serving 200 students per year. The Arrowhead Park Medical Academy produces 
125 certified high school graduates each year to work in the healthcare field. And along with NMSU's life science and pre-med programs, provides a strong pipeline of talent for the medical field and the biotech industry. We're also currently pursuing conversations with a clinical reference lab to add to this foundation. And NMSU is considering a collaborative health education and research facility to build upon its current strengths. Aerospace is also a core strength of the region, NMSU and the park. Spaceport America and General Dynamics are current tenants of the park, along with Jacobs Technology, Vista Photonics, and Applied Technology Associates. We also work closely with the Physical Sciences Lab on the NMSU campus to promote and develop the UAS industry with the country's original and largest certified UAS UAV test facility. Regional resources include the White Sands Missile Range and the NASA White Sands Test Facility and the Mechanical and Aerospace Engineering programs at NMSU add significant industry and technical capability to serve your corporate needs. The importance of water and renewable energy to our region and our world can't be emphasized enough. And we're investing in this important field with a new three megawatt solar and storage facility at the park to provide power to the campus and leading edge research and smart grid capabilities for the future. An integral sustainability focus guides park development and is also a driving force behind the university's research programs around water with activity in desalination, water reclamation, and reuse of produced waters from the oil and gas industry. In the near term three to five year horizon, development will be focused along the I-25 corridor on the east side of the park where shovel ready sites and infrastructure are already present. Three projects will break ground in the next year, including the solar and battery storage project on the southern end of this corridor, a new multi-tenant office building on the north end near the Burrell College, and an infrastructure project to develop new interior roadways that will support increased access and site development. And as previously mentioned, the Creative Media Facility for Doniana Community College will be the first development of our creative campus with a groundbreaking later in 2022. The Tortugas Arroyo on the north end of the park is being developed as an attractive recreational and educational area with a multi-use trail, seating and shade areas, and informational components highlighting the region's outdoors and cultural history. In addition, an Arroyo walking park along the I-25 corridor is in the works to provide further outdoor exercise opportunities for our residents. Also new to the park plan is a mini main street that we're calling Park Street. Adjacent to both the health and aerospace campuses, Park Street will have a mixture of retail, food, and small office environments to serve as the park's gathering place for activity and fun. In the longer term picture, development of a new interchange at Arrowhead Drive and I-10 will provide greater access to the park and the southern end of the NMSU campus. This will provide opportunities for additional growth of corporate tenant facilities, new retail and residential developments, and a central green area to enhance the park's overall appeal. With the potential for up to 2 million square feet of mixed use development, there are many opportunities for investors, developers, and new corporate facilities. And we're reaching out to you today with an invitation to come join us in this exciting development for the region and our partners. Arrowhead Center at NMSU is the hub of innovation and entrepreneurship for our region. And Arrowhead Park is our home, along with our many tenant partners. As a forward-looking, mixed-use, live-learn, work-play community, the park is eager to be a part of the success of your business, and we believe we have a strong value proposition for co-locating and investing here with us. We are located strategically to support the workforce, logistic, and technical needs of your company or your client. 
affordable land with capital efficient long-term land leases, reliable and low cost utilities and fiber connectivity, and local and state programs to incentivize your relocation or the expansion of your business are all reasons to consider locating with us here at Arrowhead Park. Looking for partners to accelerate your business growth? We excel in education, innovation, and entrepreneurship resources that can be important contributions to your business, along with our other key partners in aerospace, health, creative media, and water and energy. Las Cruces and Southern New Mexico are widely noted for a great quality of life and a low cost of living that are attractive to businesses and the workforce you need. Companies such as X2NSAT, Ganymede Games, Virgin Galactic, and Josh Global Hemp are recent additions to our regional family that attest to this fact. We have office space available today for your business or your client. Office and lab suites are move in ready now from 1400 square feet up to 7,000. We also have land sites available up to 20 acres for just about any project, including multi-tenant spec buildings, corporate offices, lab and research facilities, retail locations, and multifamily opportunities. We invite you to join with us here for a single project or a long-term relationship. I hope today's presentation has been informative and helpful for you. And thank you for spending this time with us. I'm sure that you have questions. Please give us a few moments and we'll be right back for our live question and answer session. Hi, we're back now for the Q&A portion of the event. Thanks again for joining us today. We hope that you found the presentation informative and I look forward to answering some of your questions. We already have a few that have come in. The first question is, does Arrowhead Park sell land or only do land leases? I have to say that as all NMSU campus lands are owned by the state, we're not allowed to sell land outright and therefore we must do long-term land leases. We do land leases with terms from 40 to 60 years. And we do those at market rates based on appraisals and customer needs. We haven't had any issues so far with land leases presenting uh, an impediment for development in the park. Another question that came in was about impact fees and do we have impact fees for development in the park? Uh, as most of our utilities come directly through the university, uh, there are no impact fees and that's a plus for you as a developer or an investor or a tenant. Natural gas is the one exception to that as it's supplied directly by the city of Las Cruces so there would be some impact fee there, depending on, on usage in the particular project. Another question, uh, what is the status of the highway interchange at Interstate 10? So as you can see from the image shown during the, the event, we have completed preliminary design of the interchange and we've worked with the New Mexico Department of Transportation and the Federal Highway Authority to complete an interstate access change request, an IACR that's required by Federal Highway. Uh, we're now working to pursue the prioritization of this interchange through the local metropolitan planning organization and at the state levels and timing of final design and then the construction will depend on the availability of federal and state funds. But we're looking forward to that being a significant uh, part of our future development at the park. Let's see, another question. 
what types of office spaces are available currently. So presently we have two existing buildings with office suites available. Uh, one of the buildings has 3,400 square feet right now with both single and double offices that would seat in the range of 16 to 18 people. That includes a large conference room, a smaller conference room, and a kitchenette and break area. The other building has a larger suite that's available of 7,200 square feet. And again, comes with a number of single and double offices, a few large open areas that could be used for a range of purposes, a truck dock and a receiving area and more. So both of those are currently available at market rates. Uh, we also do have one other office building that will be coming online. I'm sorry, not coming online, but coming available in the near future. That one will have about 15,000 square feet uh, and is a very unique facility that we'd love to share more with you about. Let's see, another question that just came in. Um, this one says, do you have limitations on water use projects? Uh, as a researcher or a business with high water needs, how will we accommodate that? Uh, the good news there is that our water comes from uh, the NMSU's water system and NMSU has more than adequate water rights in supply to meet the needs of our businesses. So if there is a high water usage uh, project, we'd be very happy to speak with you about that. Another question that came in uh, has to do with a master developer. We currently do not have a master developer relationship for the park. Uh, we're open to proposals from any development or investment group. Uh, we would have a review process within the park and the university to ensure that that proposal, that project meets the needs of the park and the requirements that we have but we would look forward to entertaining and discussing any proposals that one might have. Um, so another question about development and zoning. Uh, as we are right outside the city limits uh, and the land is owned by NMSU and managed by Arrowhead Center, uh, we do not fall underneath the city or county zoning requirements. Uh, our projects do have to meet the typical uh, international building and electrical codes. We do have a set of design standards for the research park and the campus, uh, but those are easy to work with. And we, we've again seen a number of buildings developed uh, that have that have met those standards and you can see behind me uh, the one that we're getting ready to break ground on in January that will also meet those standards and be very attractive. Another question here, um, opportunity zones at Arrowhead Park. So the park does reside in a census tract that was designated for opportunity zone investment. Uh, there have not been any opportunity zone projects in the park to date, but we look forward to partnering with investors and developers to use that incentive to build here. Um, as we noted earlier, we also qualify for the new market tax credits and various other state and local incentives. question came in about public-private partnerships. Um, we have a range of partnerships, both with developers and companies that we as the park and the university do work together with. Um, on the university side, we're doing research with a company called Electronic Caregiver, a local company, with a virtual reality-based fall prevention technology. Um, we've also had 
academic and scholarship engagements with Virgin Galactic and Ganymede Games. Um, we don't have any larger public-private partnerships at this time in the park, but in fact, we view each of our developments as just that, a public-private partnership. Question on the solar project that we're going to build. Uh, it will be a three megawatt single axis tracking system uh, that will also have a one megawatt, four megawatt hour battery. Um, it'll produce almost half of the power that uh, will for the main campus and for the park. Uh, it should break ground here in December and we look forward to that being online and providing power to the campus in May of next year. It's also going to bring us some research opportunities in collaboration with El Paso Electric. We'll be looking at various uh, programs for dispatching the battery to serve the campus and look at how that uh, works with the system and with the grid as a whole. Uh, and we're also looking to the future for a range of microgrid and islanding capabilities for the park and the campus. have another question that's come in on uh, data center and broadband capacity. Uh, our, our fiber connectivity for the park also comes through our NMSU system. And we've got full gigabit broadband capability. Uh, depending on the size of the data center, it may or may not be a good fit for the park. Um, Current data center projects that, that we've seen in New Mexico are very large and, and can consume hundreds of acres. We have project sites, development sites up to about 20 acres in size. So it would limit the size of the data center, but I wouldn't expect broadband capacity to be an issue for a project like that. Let's see. The creative campus that was mentioned earlier, we have a question on that. Uh, what we envision and what we're beginning to build is a mini campus environment that will include industry production, academic and research components and entrepreneurial activities uh, in the creative digital media sector. Uh, focus areas will be on training and workforce development in digital media skills. And this will serve not only community college and university students, but uh, those in the community, high school through, uh, through retraining of, of people that are needing skills to move into different kinds of jobs. Um, the key for this is really development of a sustainable creative digital media employment sector for our region. DACC or Doniana Community College will be the first project to be built. And that one will go into design next year and break ground later next year or early in 2022. NMSU will also soon begin design of their own creative media facility. And we're looking for industry partners to help us on the content production side. Let's see, I have another question that came in on the solar project and an estimate on cost savings for the main campus. Um, so on the solar project, the, the deal that we negotiated uh, was a collaboration between El Paso Electric and NMSU. Um, we have a, a, a very favorable rate, one that we're proud of. And uh, we also look to uh, the value of the research and education component. Um, so we believe that overall it's a, it is a good long-term financial deal for NMSU and should result in a, in a net savings over the term of the agreement. Looking for more questions. 
Not seeing any new ones right now. A uh, little bit of information about Las Cruces. Uh, 2019 population was right about 104,000. And uh, we're, we believe about 210,000 in Doniana County. And in terms of our location, we're about 35 miles north of El Paso, Texas, and we're about 40 miles from the port of entry at Santa Teresa, uh, the port of entry going into Mexico. So one more question here on the creative campus. Uh, Donian Community College will be uh, designing and building its own new facility for the Creative Media Technology Program here at Arrowhead Park as the uh, initial facility in our creative campus. Let's see, looking at other questions coming in. Um, Question about uh, Arrowhead Park's greatest need at this time. Um, as a university funded research park um, and in, in talking with other research park directors around the country, infrastructure is always uh, a challenge. Uh, but right now, as we look to develop along the Eastern I-25 corridor in the park, uh, we have the infrastructure and need to support a range of projects. With our EDA grant uh, that we've been awarded, we'll be adding to that with additional roadways to create other shovel ready sites. So for the next four to five years, not seeing any infrastructure needs, uh, we should be in good shape there. So our greatest need uh, really is to continue to impact uh, job creation and overall economic development for the region. So. We're reaching out today with this information about our park plan update and our opportunities in hopes of identifying and working with uh, new developers and investors to make those possible. So that seems to be our last question for today. Um, we'll go ahead and close and let you get back to the business of your day. I wanna thank you again for joining us and we look forward to having a discussion with you in the future about opportunities at Arrowhead Park. We wish you a wonderful holiday season coming up and encourage you to stay safe in these uncertain times. Thanks again for joining us today. Look forward to talking soon. Bye-bye.